my short-term plans for the Gladiator. Um, I did a mod today, actually, and it was kind of an unplanned mod. Okay, today's little mod that I talked about, let me go ahead and show you that. It's bright out here. About 72 degrees, by the way. Over well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hey, we're out cruising around in the Gladiator today, obviously, and I thought I'd get on here, talk about uh, what my plans are, at least my short-term plans for the Gladiator. Um, I did a mod today, actually, and it was kind of an unplanned mod, something I was going to do. You know, I was out cruising around, and, uh, and it crossed my mind I ought to call the shop and see if they're very busy, if they have any openings or whatever for this. And as it turns out, they weren't. So I was able to go over there, get in and out. I'll show you guys here uh, in a few minutes uh, what I did as far as today's mod goes. Um, I will say it makes the Jeep Gladiator look that much cooler. I love it. But uh, as far as what I'm planning for the future, you know, I get a lot of comments about uh, lifts and wheels and tires and suspension and all that kind of stuff. You know, everybody does that. Whenever they get a Tacoma or a Gladiator or whatever, um, it's always about lifts and wheels and tires and all that stuff. Now, I can't say that I'm not going to do any of that because I actually did one of those things recently. You'll have to check out the upcoming video on that. Um, but I will tell you, uh, I'm not planning to lift this truck, at least not in the short term. And the reason is, is I did something else in this upcoming video uh, that I think kind of looks like or makes the truck looks like it was lifted a little bit and makes it look a little beefier. And I kind of like the way it is without having to go in and, and change the suspension or do any kind of a, any kind of a lift. So you'll have to check that out. Let me know what you think, but no plans to do that. Um, I am looking to put side steps on it. Uh, I am looking to change the wheels because frankly, the uh, aluminum wheels that are on it or are on it are just uh, are just ugly. So we are going to do that. We are going to change out the wheels, get something a little meaner, a little beefier, if you will. Um, side step, same thing. I want to. I kind of want to give the truck a little bit meaner look. You know, I think the the Gladiator uh, will look much better with these side steps on it. So we have those coming. They're actually on order right now. And also, a tonneau cover. You know, a lot of people had commented on the other channel, Rob Motive. By the way, if you haven't checked that out and you like Tacomas and Tundras and other things, uh, check out Rob Motive. There's lots of stuff on that. That's my other channel. But anyway, a lot of people had commented there about wanting to see a tonneau cover on the Tacoma. And I have other plans for that truck, so I'm, I'm not putting a tonneau cover on the Tacoma. But I did order a tonneau cover for the Gladiator here, and we're going to be doing an install on that soon. The reason I did that, uh, because we're going to be taking a trip, and I think, I think, we're going to take the, uh, the Gladiator, so I needed a place to be able to securely store stuff, you know? I have the automatic locking or electronic locking uh, tailgate on this truck, so if you put a tonneau cover on that fastens down, all you have to do is put the tailgate up, hit the lock, and it's secure, right? Now, nothing's ever going to keep everybody out. I mean, I will tell you, it is a vinyl top, so obviously with a simple pocket knife, you could cut into it, but why would you risk that when you don't know if there's anything inside and and you might get caught? You know, it's not like I'm going to advertise, hey, I'm storing luggage, which is basically old socks and underwear. I mean, who wants that? I don't know. But anyway, I'm not concerned about that. I think uh, that will be secure. So we are gonna do the tonneau cover. Uh, we are gonna tint the windows. Uh, I love the look of tinted windows on, on any vehicle, really. That should be pretty cool. Um, a few people have asked me about uh, uh, ceramic coating and things like that. You know, I'm not big into that stuff, to be honest. Um, I know it's, it is worthwhile, it makes sense but it's just not my thing, so probably not. I'll never say never. Um, I'm gonna look at putting hood struts on it. Um, I have to do that with the Tacoma as well. Uh, I think those things are, are pretty cool to have, you know, whenever you're gonna lift the hood or if you're gonna be under there, and I am gonna be under there. Um, so I think I'm gonna put those on as long as there's a way to secure them without drilling a hole through the top of the 
could. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, also, we're going to do a, uh, a cold air intake, I think. Um, I'd love to have a cold air intake on here. I do like them. And for me, it's really more of an aesthetic thing. I've never seen a lot of, you know, economical or performance value out of cold air intakes. Some people swear by them. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I've never noticed anything, but I do like the way they look under the hood. So we're going to do some kind of a, of a cold air intake on here. Uh, as far as the exhaust goes, um, I go back and forth on that. I like the kind of the peace and quiet of this truck, uh, the way it is. You know, it's definitely not loud. You guys can hear right now we're driving around. You can't hear any, really any exhaust note. You might hear a lot of road noise, but no exhaust note or anything like that. And uh, sometimes it's nice just to kind of cruise that way. I have the TRD exhaust on the Tacoma now, and it's a pretty tame exhaust as well, but you do get a little bit more sound. We shall see. Uh, I kind of go back and forth on that uh, because one part of me does like a, a deeper throat or exa throatier exhaust, and that might be kind of cool on this truck. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, today's little mod that I talked about, let me go ahead and show you that. It's bright out here. About 72 degrees, by the way. Overcast. Anyway, you can probably tell right there, right? It is a front window tint. I do this on every vehicle, no exceptions on this. And like I said, I just happened to be out driving around. It crossed my mind. And I thought, well, I'll give them a call, see if they're busy. You know, they weren't. I was in and out of there in less than an hour. Awesome job. It was uh, Detronics here in Harlingen. Anyway, check that out. It looks awesome. I'm very happy with it. I did go with 20% in the front trying to match the back. To be honest, it's a little bit darker, but that's okay. It doesn't really bother me. Um, Cost-wise, in case you're interested in doing something like this, $135 for the second down from the top level. That's about what you should pay, I think, for just two windows, probably on any vehicle. Anyway, let me know what you think of that. I think it looks pretty darn cool. Uh, that's about it for now, I think. I don't want this to drone on too long. I've already gone on for about six minutes now, but I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of, of what it is I'm looking to do in the short term with this truck. Should be pretty cool. I think it's pretty awesome looking uh, right out of the box, minus the wheels and lack of tent and cover and, and other things. So I guess it does need a few things. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that's coming up. Uh, since you don't miss any of these awesome mods that are going to be going on this truck. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day.